What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about transformations. Uh, in the past few videos we have been discussing about uh, different types of animations one after the other, right? So if you are watching this video for the first time, kindly uh, I would highly recommend you to watch the previous videos on animation as well. Since I had started from the basics, then moved on to delayed animations, then moved on to parenting animations. And this is another type of animation called the transformation animation. So what exactly is the transformation? It's simple. As the name suggests, it's like uh, taking one particular shape and then transforming it into another one. This is the common thing that comes to our mind whenever we think about animation, right? Uh, I have a GIF image here as well, just like the last one. See, this is transformation uh, animation. You are taking a circular uh, shape and then transforming it into a rectangle, right? This is the transformation animation that we are going to accomplish in this video. So this is the code from my last video. If you haven't, don't have a copy of this code, kindly grab it from my site. Uh, I have posted this entire code over there. So you can just copy this entire code and paste it into your main dot file and you're good to go. I haven't installed any plugins or anything. So just copy this code and you'll be good to go. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take this and then instead of this, we'll do a transformation animation anim okay and uh, now that we have two things the one thing we need to do is uh, change the border radius right but change the border to from circular to uh, rectangle uh, let this be as it is uh, this one we will change this animation will be uh, begin I will start from 10 and uh, end, I'll end at 200, okay. Uh, this is done and uh, the, this animation for this animation, I'll remove this completely. Here as well, I'll just give a ease curve, okay. For this animation, what I'll do is, uh, what was that? Transformation anim, right? Transformation anim equals I'll use a border radius tween. This is the first time I think I'm using a tween that's different from the uh, simple tween. Border radius tween is something that you can use to uh, modify. Uh, you'll see it. You'll see it now. Border radius tween begin. Uh, let's start from uh, border radius dot circular. We'll give it a radius maybe 125.0 and uh, we'll end it once again border radius dot circular we'll give a radius of 0, 0.0 so that it becomes rectangular at the end okay uh, and we need to give a curve as well right oh why did i end this here dot animate and this is the usual stuff that we do parent uh, animation sorry, animation controller and uh, curve curves dot curves dot ease okay no oh, sorry as usual i forgot the curved animation Now we have two uh, animations that we will be doing with this particular animation controller. Uh, one is the animation that will uh, take, uh, that will change the size, change the size from a small circle to a large rectangle. As you see there is, uh, in this, it's a small circle, it becomes a large rectangle, right? So we will use uh, this animation for changing the size. This is for changing the shape from a circular shape to a rectangular shape, okay? Uh, okay, these two animations we have initialized and we will also start the animation here itself. Animation controller dot forward. Okay. Done. Now, uh, inside the animated builder, what we will do is we don't need all these. We are not going to be making use of any. We are not going to move anything along the x-axis or the y-axis, right? So, inside the scaffold uh, body 
I'll remove all these first. What I'll do is body new center uh, child new stack and uh, children inside this I'll simply give new center child container bottom center so that it tries to uh, appear from you will see that wait with uh, what was that animation right animation dot value height animation dot value mm, decoration box decoration this is where we will change the uh, shape border radius border radius dot border radius sorry what was that sorry transition transformation anim dot value okay uh, this will now uh, give us a container that will be a circle originally and then it will uh, enlarge to become a rectangle it will transform to become a rectangle so rather than making an empty uh, box just like what we saw here where is it just like what we see here what i'll do is i'll add an image i'll add an image so that as soon as the application loads the image will be in a circular shape and then it will along and uh, transform into a rectangular shape let's see how that goes uh, so i have a assets folder inside which i have a, a jpg image i'll get into pubspec.yaml file and then uh, here if you notice there will be assets right just uncomment these and then instead of images this thing simply give assets all right uh, now that we have done that let's get back to main.dart file and then uh, image decoration image image asset image assets slash some image dot jpg this is how you add an external asset into your application similarly you can do fonts you can do other external svg icons stuff that you want to add you can place it inside an assets folder uh, mention that in the pubspec.yaml file and then simply use it in the uh, dart file that's how you add external assets into inside your Flutter application, guys. I'll try to make a separate video maybe on that. Okay. For those who bought my course, you might have already known this since I explained this pretty much in a detailed way in a lecture. Anyway, let's not try to go for a shameless plug here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll run this and see what happens. You saw that, right? It started off from a circle and then slowly... I'll increase this so that you can see it in a better way. And you'll have 8 seconds. I'll literally double that. Wow. You saw that, right? First, it started out as a circle. Not exactly a circle, but somewhat it looked like a circle. To make it look exactly like a circle, just increase the uh, border radius dot circular and it will look more like a circle. Anyway, you saw that uh, and uh, as uh, the animation uh, happened over uh, 8 seconds, the circular image slowly became uh, rectangle, right? You saw that right now. Wait, I'll let, let it just load one more time. Wow, you saw that it started out as a circular uh, thing and then ended slowly into a uh, rectangle, right? So this is exactly what's the transformation animation. You're trans literally transforming one object into one shape into another, right? Uh, both in terms of size and shape, right? 
Uh, so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel if you like watching all these letter videos kindly hit subscribe and uh, yeah it's free kindly hit subscribe now uh, uh, yeah that's it guys if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and uh, help them too and i'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye